<laughs> yeah, I see too many people out there skiing. You know, you can be confident, you can be the best skier in the world, but all it takes is one catch of the edge. The helmet makes all the difference. You've got these metal rails that our kids are sliding on, so you hit your head on one of those and you're done. I know that little errors happen just free skiing, and I don't want to put myself in that risk. You have to have a, a personal responsibility and, and, and own that. I mainly look for fit. I don't really care what people think or how it looks. It's mainly comfort and it fits nice. You just want to look for something that's well made and has that certification. Um, you know, those, the companies are paying a lot of money um, to have their product stringently tested and that's definitely going to give you the reassurance that, to know that you're buying a quality product that's going to protect and keep you safe. We're hurling ourselves down bank turns and off crazy jumps and we're not doing it alone, we're doing it four at a time. So having a helmet that fits uh, is I'd say number one. Different brands fit differently. Some fit a little more of an oval style head or some fit a little more of a round style head. So the most important thing again is gonna be fit and finding the brand that fits you the best sort of out of the box or off the shelf. You know, some of them with a super loose strap or they'll, they'll have their goggles underneath and it just, it doesn't work the same. We don't need to allow um, for, for room for anything underneath because the helmet is so much warmer to begin with that a lot of times people make the mistake of thinking they want a little bit more extra room. But that's typically not something you want to do. Helmets have gotten a lot lighter in the last few years. Better quality plastics um, allows them to keep the weight of the helmet down. Better quality venting controls, now bigger holes. And then a lot of manufacturers are using or working with a Swedish company called MIPS, and they're putting MIPS in their helmets. Uh, MIPS stands for Multi Directional Impact Protection System. And it's a layer that's built into the helmet to help control a really bad twisting fault. So it's a way for the manufacturer to offer a little bit more protection in the helmet and hopefully limit your chances um, of a concussion. Concussion is a minor traumatic brain injury, so it's important that people realize that it is a brain injury. The best way, I guess, to think about it is that the brain itself is bruised, and concussions can happen from a direct blow to the head. They can also happen from a direct blow to the chest or neck or face with a force that's transmitted upwards. Concussion symptoms kind of come in three different categories. They can be physical symptoms, which are the symptoms people are probably going to recognize the earliest. So that might be headache, it might be a loss of consciousness, it may be that they, um, they feel unwell, their balance is off, they may have some nausea or even vomit a few times. Um, as well, people can have what we call cognitive symptoms. So that may be when you feel a little bit in a fog, um, you're tired, you're fatigued, you have low energy, your concentration is off. And then also emotional symptoms like, you know, just feeling a little bit more sad, feeling more irritable. Helmets are very important and we would absolutely advocate that people wear helmets when they're on the hill, whether they're skiing or snowboarding. Helmets have been definitely proven to reduce the risk of injury, uh, of head injury, uh, particularly skiing and snowboarding, at least between 30 and 50 percent. So while helmets are very effective in reducing head trauma in general, uh, they have not been shown to affect the rate or severity of concussions. Uh, the most important thing is that uh, kids and adults ski or ride in control. So they need to know their own limits, they need to know what part of the hill they should be on, what their skill set is, and practice those skill sets just like with anything. Now if that didn't convince you to protect your melon out on the slopes, maybe this will. <laughs>